Hello everybody, welcome to my special 2 millionth view and 25,000th subscriber episode. Um, I'm going to do a question and answer and I'm going to start it uh, now. Alright, let's start with the questions. Uh, why don't you do YouTube full time? Uh, because I would starve? Um, YouTube isn't the cash cow that everybody seems to think it is, so... Um, yeah, no, I'm afraid it's not going to happen for a long time, if ever. Um, why did you decide to be a teacher? Uh, well, I was outside a school doing trial pitting, which I, I was a geotechnical engineer, which is mean I, I, I looked at soil and stuff. And I was outside of school and I was, like, I was there for like three days, sitting outside this one classroom, making sure I was doing my job properly. And all I could hear was this teacher that was absolutely just uh, livid, just all the time, just just absolutely bollocking people left, right and centre. And, and my first thought was rather arrogantly, I could do a better job than that. <clears throat> Turns out I was right. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's why I became a teacher. Uh, what got you into YouTube? Uh, the reason why I started you doing YouTube is actually because I'd kept quit WoW and I wanted to still uh, show my friend, my best friend, what was going on so he didn't have to, you know, uh, stop paying attention to what I was doing. So yeah, that, that, was a, that was a thing. What are your most memorable moments of YouTube? Um, Quite a lot, actually. Uh, let's see. There was that. That was that first race for wall match that that the team tunnel rat uh, uh, won. That was that was pretty memorable. I remember the the, the four of us um, being pretty hyped up about that. Um, of course, getting invited to Hermitcraft. That was a that was that was that was an interesting day actually because I felt really weird about that. But um, yeah. Um, oh, the Battle Royale uh, with uh, Paws, Vex, Zisto and Joe, that was, that was, um, that was ridiculous fun. Oh, speaking of ridiculous fun, the Skyblock series. The Skyblock series with um, Foface and Milby and Vex and me, that, that remains possibly the funniest of my video. I'll link, I'll link any videos that I mention, I'll try and link down in the, in the thingy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, okay. What happened to, right, so what happened to working draft? Uh, sort of fizzled out in the end. Um, yeah, that's it, things, series like that happen. Will you come to Denmark and hang out with me? I'll be nice, I promise. No, no. Um, I'm sure Denmark is lovely, but uh, it requires money to get there. How old are you? I'm 33. And where are you from? England. Weirdly. Yeah. When did you start out YouTubing? June 4th, 2011. Can we see your first video on YouTube? Oh, yeah, sure you can. It's not any really good, but you can see it. Um, it's actually Fable Three. I'll link it down in the in the bottom. Um, but yeah, it's it's terrible. I think at the end, whilst I was going to turn things off, I even hit the mic. It was the worst video in the history of videos. Um, actually, it probably wasn't. It's probably not as bad as I'm remembering it. But you know, what did you teach as a teacher, and how long were you a teacher? Uh, I teach science, which is uh, physics, biology, chemistry, um, and I was a teacher for eight years, believe it or not. Mm. What is the one thing you wish you could do with YouTube, excluding full-time as an answer? I'm asking about content stuff. Uh, I would like to be able to do animation stuff. Because I've got a lot of stories to tell and, and Minecraft doesn't generally fit into the mold. So yeah, animations would be awesome. Uh, what's this one? Uh, have you ever laughed so hard that you cried? Uh, yes, 
almost every day, in fact. Can I send you flowers or perhaps an apple pie? For those of you who don't get this, this is uh, from Magical Diary. Both of those things are pretty creepy. Um, and this, this commenter also obviously knows this, but yes. Uh, no, is the answer. Sing the countries of the world song again, for old times sake. Oh, right. Um, in my last question and answer video, which I'll link in the thingy down below, uh, I did the songs of the world, like India, Pac in, hang on, India, Panama. Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember that verse. That's because it's in the middle one. Anyway, the, the, the song to the Mexican hat dance. I did that in my last video, but uh, you can watch it from my last video. My brain can't cope with it today. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> How long did it take you to be where you are on YouTube? Since June 4th, 2011? I suppose, if we're going to be specific about it. How does your family face your video gaming and YouTubing hobby? Face it? Well, they mostly don't face it. I mean, it's not something they really think about. They know I do it. And I guess my family are happy if I'm happy. Um, Maybe my mum watches, I suppose. I've given her, I've shown her how to find it, but that's, that's about it, really, I'll be honest. How much wood could a zombie chuck if a zombie could chuck wood? Seven. Uh, will you ever show your face? Okay, um, the reason why I don't show my face is because I am a teacher and if any of my kids got through the video, got to the video, I would shut it down. Now there is a complete disconnect between my voice in reality and and my voice on video. I say a complete disconnect. I, th my mannerisms are the same in real life, but the, the the slight difference in audio would be enough to fool them. But if I put my face on my videos, then then they, then they're gonna know. So until this pays enough that I don't have to teach, it's not happening. I'm sorry. If you could take Anyone off the server, who would it be? If it was a must-do. Oh, God. Uh, anyone with a Y chromosome. There you go, that's everyone else. Um, I, I honestly don't know. I don't think I would. I'd probably take myself off, because I don't think I could do that to, to, the, to, to the hermits, because they're just really nice people. <laughs> Which is, you know, obvious from their videos, but they are, they're just, just nice. And I, I couldn't, yeah, I'd have to take myself off if, if, I, if, it, had to, if it had to happen. <laughs> who, who is your favourite member of Hermitcraft? Me, because I can't decide on anyone else. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, there, there are a few, few that I, I feel uh, more in tune with than the others. But, you know, to be honest, I don't really have a favourite. I like them all. Because they're all slightly barking like me. Slightly. Not quite as much. Which is okay. Um, I suppose if I had to choose anyone, it would probably be Joe because I've known him forever. And I really mean it feels like... I mean it's been two years but I've known Joe forever so I would have to choose Joe because he's Joe. When are you going to be on Biffa's community show? When he asks me I suppose. <laughs> Okay, what's this one? What is your favourite dinosaur? Ah, oh, you've got me here. Um, my favourite dinosaur is probably the Stegosaurus. If if I'm gonna if I'm gonna pick like my absolute favourite, oh, that's so awesome dinosaur. Uh, however, my spirit animal is uh, called the Velociraptor, which is a cross between a Velociraptor and a kangaroo. So. So my actual favourite favorite dinosaur is Triceratops, but I most like the Velociraptor. <laughs> what happened to Magical Diary? Oh, Magical Diary. Um, corpse went on holiday um, and I had a problem with my hard drive and, and, and we lost all the footage that we've recorded. Um, so that's gone. So we have to go back to our last save point and try again, basically. Um, we're going to choose a different path this time. Um, but this corpse has also been ill. So so between the two of us, we had a problem. Let's just let's just leave it at that, yeah. <laughs> 
rating yourself from peasant to queen, how British are you? I am 12 British. Just 12. What is your full name? My name is Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. Uh, yeah, I'm... You're not getting my full name. Sorry. Uh, what is the age of the students you've taught? 11 to 16. Are you married? No. Well, oh, God, no. 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 No, 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 no. I don't actually believe that marriage is for me. I don't, I'm not a big yay marriage kind of person. No. So, what's your favourite book? Okay, um... You see, I kind of think of books as like children. If you pick one, you're an arse. You know? Um... My favourite genre is sci-fi and fantasy, but I couldn't pick, like, one book. I would have to pick, like, loads. The question I would like to ask is, how did you get your start on YouTube and get your channel to grow? Oh, um, my start on... Well, YouTube isn't really something you get a start on. You just make a channel and you go. Um, but if you're talking about my big start, um, I started gaining viewers when I was doing... Um, Fex's legendary CTM, um, and then when his next map came out, there was a thing, there was a sign um, about me and Joe, and Joe challenged me to, in fact, I'll, I'll try and hunt out that video, if I can find it, it'll be in the link, but basically Joe challenged me, called me out, basically, and um, said, I challenge you, and then, and then, and then we asked for Vex, and, um, and then Pause came along and yeah, we asked Vex to be a re referee and then Pause says, no, but Vex said he won and I don't think it's fair without a thing. So Pause came along and then, um, then we asked Zisto to be the referee and then, and then yeah, we had basically a boss fight with Zisto. And yeah, that's the point where my channel started to get bigger. And then uh, recently Hermitcraft, Hermitcraft has made my channel skyrocket, which is just, just Ugh. how crazy it's been because I, I was used to like oh I got 20 people a day that's 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 pretty good that's all right and then I'm getting 200 a day and that freaks me out a bit sometimes so yeah right so this next one if you're a cat who says I'm not uh how would you react if someone called your name probably the way I do now by hissing and hiding under the covers that's that's pretty much how I react to people needing me. Are you going to beat up Corrales and are you going to make him fart bubbles? <laughs> Probably. It, it's going to happen at some point. I already killed him, so to be fair, he's not actually killed me back yet, which is which is a thing. Do you have any siblings? Yep. I has a sister. Is there Japanophilia in Britain? Or some other similar phenomena? Not really. I mean, I mean, we're a bit too multicultural in a small area for that to happen, to for us to like adore other cultures or think of them as cute. I mean, some people really like Japan, um, Japanese stuff. Some people like Chinese stuff. Some people like Indian stuff. It's kind of a, it's kind of a whatever floats your boat kind of thing. Mm. So, what are your plans for the future? Uh, I have no idea. I don't really have plans. Um, no, I just don't know. Um, the future is undiscovered country, right? So, if it's undiscovered country, I guess I explore it when it happens. Next question. Uh, do you love kids or do you have kids? Little kids? No and no. No kids. Not planning to have kids. Uh, ever. I like other people's kids. You can give them back. But I don't want kids, no. What is your best advice for a broken heart? Um. It's okay to be unhappy. But, uh, no one wants to hear that crap forever. Pick yourself up and move on. It's a bit heartless, but to be honest wallowing around in misery for, for weeks on end is no good for anyone. It's okay to be sad, but don't 
don't bore people with your sadness. Um, I sound really cold hearted there, but just, just move on. Just get over it. Um, yeah, seriously, <laughs> just get over it. There, there's, why do you want someone who doesn't want you? That's, that's, that's the thing. Um, just cut off contact. If you're really truly broken hearted and can't get, get, can't get over them, stop seeing them. Stop looking at them, delete them from your life. It's the easy. It's the easiest way to get over people because you, in the end, you forget them. Um, where is your favourite place to travel? All the places I haven't been yet. Yes, yes, that's. I like that answer. When did you start playing video games? Uh, actually, my mum said I was two. I always thought I was six. Because that's really the first time I remember much. I remember being in a game store when I was in a push chair, so I must have been about two. Um, yeah, so, so so yeah, pretty much my first memory was computer game store. Uh, I suppose that might have been my first memory. It must have been my first memory because I was in a push chair, and it's the only one where I was. Oh no. I have one other memory when I was in a push chair, but yeah, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Push chair. Uh, playing video games when I was about two. Oh, I suppose leading on from that, what's your best childhood memory? Uh, you see, all my childhood memories, I mean child childhood, they're, they're pretty mundane. They're not really kind of, <gasps> wow. It's more sort of like, eh. Um, I suppose my favourite one that I can remember. Um, to be honest, all my memories are sort of me being sick and, and yeah. Um, I suppose my dad carrying me around in a backpack. That was pretty cool. Which subject do you teach? And I'm kind of interested in becoming a biology teacher. Any advice? Well, science and um, advice, advice, advice. <laughs> the kids that you teach will make you feel the best and the worst that you have ever felt in your life. They are evil and they are brilliant. And and I've had kids that have made me cry with happiness and I've had kids that made me cry with, with just rage and sadness and just horror. Um, but if they are horrible, I suppose, um, the other piece of advice, it's never about you, not really. It's It's always something else that's going on in their life. If you're fair and you're firm, if they have a hissy fit, it's not really about you, ever. <laughs> I like this question, this question is good. What are the first computer games you remember playing? Right, so the very first game that I remember playing was around my dad's friend's house and it was this ant thing on his TV and this little wooden box thing and it had something that you controlled it with. I think it was some kind of joystick and there was this ankle. That's all I remember about it. That was the first game I've ever played. Um, what else? The first game that I remember actually playing properly was called Sorcery Plus on the Amstrad uh, CPC. Um, PCP. I don't know. CPC sounds better, I think. Colour Personal Computer. That's that's what it stands for, so it must be CPC. Um, but Sorcery Plus was was this game where you went around and saved all the captured sorceresses and and I never finished it I never completed it because I was like four um I didn't even get onto the second level mind you the levels were long and there were only two um but yeah I played that and I suppose consoles would be the Mega Drive. Well, no, I, there was the Master System before that and the NES. I mean, Super Mario Brothers on my friend's NES and I think it was Kid Icarus on the Master System around my friend's place. And then it's the Mega Drive would be Altered Beast. Altered Beast. Um, yeah, those would be the first one. Oh, oh, and... The Simpsons arcade machine, I must have spent pounds and pounds on that thing to win. Or the Turtles, I can't remember which one came first, but there was an arcade machine and I, I played the crap out of it, it was awesome. What are your favourite bands, composers, musicians, musical genres? Um, 
I guess I'm sort of a rocker at heart. I, I kind of like um, like the old style uh, rock music. I, I mean, my, my favourite band is Queen and it's never going to stop being Queen. It's been Queen since I was about four. Um, my mum's a fan of Queen. My sister's a fan of Queen. My dad, we're a Queen sort of family. Um, so yeah, so so Queen. Do I play an instrument? Um, I used to play violin badly, and now I'm trying to teach myself guitar. Um, I've got a, um, a a lessons guide, guitar lessons for beginners kind of thing, um, on about.com, and and I'm going through that, and so I'm trying to teach myself guitar. So, what are your favourite films, TV shows, actors and directors? Uh, I don't really have favourite actors and directors. Uh, I suppose Joss Whedon, but everyone is a Joss Whedon fan these days. Um, so my film, my favourite film is The Shawshank Redemption. Just beyond anything else, Shawshank Redemption, I just love. Um, my TV shows are probably predictably Firefly because that's every nerd's if, if they've watched it it's usually every nerd's favourite and Red Dwarf because I've been into that since I was 12 and it's just awesome what is your cat called uh, her name is Bode well her name is Bodicea but I call her Bode what's the silliest thing any of your students has ever done in class okay um you have to definition between silly fun and silly stupid. Um, one of the silliest things that happened was um, the invisible tennis game, I suppose, where they took turns hitting an invisible ball with a tennis racket and just crawling under desks to get the ball. And it was really fun. It was like at the end of term. I wasn't really too fussed by it, but yeah, that was quite funny. Um, the stupidest thing anyone has ever done. Um, oh god, there's so many. <laughs> I would have to say probably lighting um, a tissue on fire and setting it on top of uh, set it on top of a set stack of books. That was pretty stupid. Still not over that actually. <laughs> What's your favourite grade to teach? We don't really have grades. I like teaching year 10, which is like 15 year olds. Um, and year 11, I suppose, because they can have a laugh with you and, and they actually get most of your jokes and they, they learn that you're not like the heartless cow that they thought that we were. What is your favourite gun in FIFA 14? If you don't know too many, ask Caralis, he will know. Well, you can't fool me, there are no guns in, in FIFA 14, but my favourite FIFA fruit is the orange. Mm. Uh, what did you first start out recording? Fable 3. Um, yeah, and then Minecraft pretty much after like five episodes of Fable 3. What's your favourite game other than Minecraft? I wouldn't even say Minecraft is my favourite game. Um, it's just the one I play most. Uh, I suppose my favourite games would be the Bioshock series. Just hands down, just favourite. Uh, Bioshock 2 in particular, that's that's always been my favourite, one of those those three. And the game, uh, Binding of Isaac, I play a lot of Binding of Isaac, I, I'm something, I'm over 200 hours now, um, on and off, but I play that a lot. Your favourite Shakespearean drama? Uh, I don't really like, I like the tragedies. Um, it goes Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth, sort of in that order. Um, those are my three favourite tragedies of Shakespeare. So, Right, so do you think it's possible that we're just brains and vats in warehouses being fed information that simulates our perception of reality? Uh, it's po Well, there are some scientists that think that this is more or less true, more or less what's happened. We are sort of inside a machine, like Matrix style. Um, it gets to a point where actually it's more likely than not. Statistically speaking, it's more likely than not that that's what's happened. Um, but who really cares, to be honest? Yeah. 
What question would you ask yourself, including the answer, of course? Um, uh, 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 um, <laughs> I don't know. What question would I ask myself? I don't know. Um, I, I suppose the, the what, what piece of advice would you give to people? Um, or what is your favourite quote? Uh, those those two are actually like the same thing because my favourite quote and my favourite piece of advice is if nothing that you do matters, then all that matters is what you do. So yeah, that's that's my question and answer, I suppose. What subject did you do you teach and why did you choose it? Uh, I chose science because I like the way that science looks at the world because you can see something beautiful and then try and find out why it's either so beautiful or why it works or how it works and I love the fact that science cho chooses to do that. I think, I think it's a, a, a good skill. Who is your favourite hermit, human and teacher? Uh, me, me and me. Because I am all of those things. No, um, I don't know. I'm going for me because I can't choose. Um, <laughs> do you have kids? If no, are you planning to have anyone? Have any? Have anyone? No. Uh, the answer is no and no, respectively. <laughs> this is one I'm getting a lot. Why don't you reveal your face? I mean, it's not that bad. How do you know? Have you seen my face? How could you possibly know? And again, um, teaching. I'm not going to show my face whilst I'm still possibly teaching. So my question is that could you please do FTB because I would really like seeing you succeeding in it. I mean, Hermitcraft FTB server. I tried. Um, for me, the monster pack is completely um, unplayable. I mean, literally unplayable. You freeze for every five seconds and then and then you freeze every five seconds and then you freeze every five. It's unplayable and it's unrecordable and I don't think it would be fair. I mean, I've looked for solutions in, into playing it, but I can't. I just can't. Um, I might do my own little FTB thing on one of the, the smaller mod packs, but um, I'm not going to be able to do Monster, I'm afraid. So... Uh, what are your early gaming experiences in life, which I've already explained, and have you changed the games you've played over the years? Yes. I mean, my earliest gaming was on the Amstrad, which was uh, like a computer, which was, so it was proper computer gaming. Um, I mean, I, I programmed some of those in myself. Uh, from from the magazines i say i programmed them. i type i copied the program across from the magazine but you have to remember i was only about five or six so so that was a feat for me so yeah um games were cool um over the years i'm playing less platformers and more puzzles i used to play a lot of rpgs but now i want my story in a more concentrated form there's a lot of stuff that goes on in RPGs, but the story's spread out and it should be shorter, I think. I'm going to England in the summer. I'm not really impressed by architecture or popular sites, but I do enjoy the arts. I've never been to a proper play. And I want to try out different food. Any ideas? Um, go to the Globe, see a Shakespeare play because that's what everybody wants to do. Um, museums, I would go to the Tate. Probably not modern. modern. Um, go to the British Portrait Gallery. That There's some phenomenal art in there. Um, spend some time in the West End watching the plays and the musicals. Um, food is sort of a weird one because we're not really a... I mean, a roast dinner, like a proper English roast is with Yorkshires and everything is, is second to none. Um, and curry is sort of a national dish, so we do quite good curries. Um, but... Uh, if you're in London, Chinatown has some awesome, some awesome restaurants that you should probably go into. Why did you start YouTube and how did you come up with your YouTube name? Okay, um, one of my characters in WoW was Undead and she was called Cleophus and 
yeah, when I quit WoW, I came to do Zombie Cleo. That, that's pretty much how it was started. Um, and I started because I quit WoW. What is your gaming setup? Can you do it all? I don't really have a setup. I have like two monitors, a keyboard, mouse, and a microphone, and that's about it. And a desk. Desk. Um, so, there's not much at all. There's, there's just sort of meh. What made you want to start Minecraft? And what gets you inspired? And how do you get on Hermitcraft? Right, I started um, Minecraft because of the old class, which I think a load of people did. What gets you inspired? Um, stories. I mean, for example, if you're talking about the um, the museum, I was like, I should build a, muse build a museum. It should be full of cultists. I need to put Cthulhu. Cthulhu can be in the basement. He should be in the cultists. Um, and then and then things sort of escalate from there. And then I, do, I end up digging a giant pit and building it with a Cthulhu monster. It's my lot in life. Um, how did I get on Hermitcraft, Joe? Joe asked me to come across. So, yeah. Joe is actually, um, has actually been the instigator of pretty much all of my growth. And I'm really thankful to Joe for that because he's an awesome person. So, yeah. Last but not least, do you love me? I love everyone who watches me in, in their own special way, some more than others. But, um, yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's get started.